Welcome back to another computer sluggish video. Have you subscribed to our YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button and click on the bell to get notified when we upload a new video. In today's video, we will be taking a look at 3D Viewer in Windows 10. To open up this program, all you need to do is open your start menu and it should be at the very top of your start menu. If it isn't, then go ahead and search for it at the bottom here. I'm going to go ahead and open 3D Viewer. This is what 3D Viewer looks like. You will first have a welcome to 3D Viewer message box like you can see on my screen. I'm going to go ahead and close down this welcome window. And there we go, we have a B on the screen. And that 3D model actually looks really cool. As you can see, I can rotate around the model and we also have a animation currently playing. 3D Viewer is a very fantastic tool that's built into Windows. It allows us to easily view 3D models and animations in real time. It also supports lots of different 3D file types such as FBX, STL, OBJ and lots of other common 3D file types. On the right hand side you will see we have environment and lighting. We can go ahead and click around and change the different types of lighting and we can also change the light rotation here. If I scroll down a little bit more, we have different light options. And we also have the environment at the bottom, like you can see. And that's actually changing the color of the bee, which is quite cool. I'm going to pause the animation and we can actually select the animation box here and we can select a different animation. As you can see, the bee is now flying with animation two. I could change it to animation three and the bee actually takes off. I'm going to go ahead and pause that again as I don't want the animation to play currently. We can zoom in and out on the model. We also have a few different options we can play around with on the right hand side here. If I go ahead and click on stats and shading, you can see we have lots of options below. We have mesh data and texture data, animation data, performance data and scene data. You can play around with all these different settings if you want to. We can also go across to grid and fuse. As you can see there, if I just select one of the presets, you can see it just changes the angle of the B that we're viewing it at. We can then go ahead and go to the top right hand corner again and select 3D library. You will now see a list of all sorts of different 3D models. And I must admit there are some pretty cool models in here. I'm going to go ahead and select animals and insects again, just because I like animals, I think they're quite cool. And I'm going to scroll down, let's see what we have. We have a monkey, oh actually, let's go ahead and select the monkey. As you can see, it's now loading the model. And there we go, that monkey does not look like the preview, but that's because we just changed the lighting environment. If I was to change this back, we now have a bit more of a brown monkey, as you can see. It's also got a bit of a green effect there as well because of the light. If we go to the top left hand corner, we can click on file and we can then open up another 3D model. If we had one, I don't actually have one on my PC. I've just been using the 3D library. As like I just said, there's lots of different models in there to play around with. It really is a cool tool that can kill time very fastly, just playing around and looking at different models. I've just gone on outdoor and nature and yet again, there are lots of other stunning models in here. We even have a beach scene, which there we go, that actually looks quite cool. I hope this tutorial has helped. If it has, hit the like button below and subscribe. For more computer sluggish tutorials. Don't forget to check out my social media channels and forum.